Welcome back everybody, we're looking at Armored Core 4 Answer, running on the ROG Ally here. We have it connected to a monitor just so we can see how it would perform. Now, when, one thing when it comes to setting up the settings on this one, make sure you go to Change Custom Configuration. When you go here, you can leave everything as it is right here. The most important thing here is right color buffers, uh, just because sometimes the shadows are very dark, we want to make sure we change that. Go ahead and change frame limit to auto. You could set it to 60, but on the Ally, it can run up all the way up to 120, and we do have that VRR screen. Now, if you just put unlimited infinite here, it will run up to like past 200, 800 um, FPS, which sounds fantastic. But the input messes up when it comes to the menu, so just make sure you leave it on auto here. And what you want to do here is go to advance. Now, leave this at 720, that's the internal resolution. Uh, we are, uh, you can upscale it higher if you want. We could do this all the way up to 1080 right here. We're going to click apply. Go to advanced. Make sure you change the V blank frequency up to 120 FPS. That will actually change it so it can go all the way to 120, um, you know, FPS, the refresh, light, refresh rate. We click apply, save configuration. Now we're going to go to our game here. And then we're going to be running at 120 FPS. I'm going to make this full screen and we're going to move this to the top here so it's not in the way of our gameplay. There we go. And we're going to start our first mission. We're going to skip the cutscenes here. We are running at 18 watts right now so if it drops, don't be afraid. We could always bump up the FPS. Notice it's at 65, 68 right now, 70, it's starting to stabilize. Now, if I want more performance, we just go here. Okay. There we go. And we're going to change this to turbo now. And there we go. Running extremely smooth, what's what? No issues whatsoever. Gonna get back to the higher ground. Half the targets have been destroyed. Damn! Are we doing any damage? Primal armor! First, we have to break down that primal armor. Only a few targets remaining. Boost works just fine. No issues whatsoever when it comes to the controller. I've tried it with the Ally um, controller buttons. No issues there. Notice we are still compiling shaders. It will drop your performance a little bit, but nothing crazy. Trying to make it back to the higher ground. There we go. Should be some on the other side here. Missing some enemies in the back. We confirmed all there targets we destroyed. Mission complete. Well done. Almost perfect. But don't get too high in yourself yet, rookie. These enemies were nothing to write home about. Now we're gonna try, uh, you know, just going one um, AC versus another AC here. We're gonna skip this, no problem. We're gonna go fight this one now. Like I said, runs perfectly fine. We're not even hitting 30 watts at the moment. We're at 26. 
but we are running at 120 FPS. We could turn up the fan curve a little bit more, but it's unnecessary. One more shit should do it. Wow. Well, let's try one more time. Like I said, I'm not having any issues when it comes to, you know, um, input latency or whatsoever. Let's try this one more time. There we go, let's go. Anyways, running perfectly fine on the Ally. Uh, those of you that are super excited for, you know, Verdict, uh, not Verdict, that one already came out <laughs> almost 10 years ago. Uh, Fires Rubicon, I'm excited as well. I got my pre-order. Now we only have uh, 23, 22 days to go, so hopefully, uh, you know, early release or something. But anyways, there's that video. Hope you enjoyed it and have a fantastic day, everyone.